Clavio for email marketing complete tutorial for beginners step by step. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily use Clavio.com for our email campaigns. Basically it's pretty easy, just follow these steps. I do to not make any mistakes. So here we are on Clavio.com. We can easily click on sign up to create an account. I already have one. So we'll come to this page after registration. This is our dashboard basically and it looks like this. As you can see in the left side we have a menu from this menu we can go to home campaigns flows sign up forms audience content and analytics basically every folder like provides us the opportunity to interact with some information or interact with campaigns for example on the home page we can easily find all the information all the overview uh, dashboards so basically we can uh, find the number of total conversation attributed conversation top performing flows and so on so basically recent campaigns a lot of stuff provided by Clavio we can easily analyze all the data here to make it easier and make it like better to interact uh, through emails on the campaign uh, folder we can easily create uh, different campaigns to interact with our uh, audience with our subscribers so from this page here we can easily find all the campaigns here and also we can create a campaign we'll create it a little bit later on the flows area, we can find all the information about the flows. Sign up forms provides us the opportunity to work with a different forms. As you can see, there are a lot of different templates we can easily use. So some of them are free and some of them are paid. So basically we can use every single template right up here. On the audience, we can find the uh, profiles of our subscribers, of our customers. Basically, now we have only one, so we can easily add customers or we can uh, like import them. Also, we can divide them into different lists and segments. As you can see, they have like some templates like SMS subscribers, preview list, engaged, engaged like for the different period and new subscribers. Sometimes it could be easier for you to divide them into different groups to interact, for example, with only new subscribers. And also on the content area, we can find a lot of uh, different uh, templates. Uh, basically, here we can find our templates and also we can find the templates we can use we can also interact with products images and brand and so on and on analytics how we can find the dashboard with different like uh, metrics uh, benchmarks so all this stuff is right up here so let's try to create a new campaign to find how does it look like and follow the process step by step so here we are on the campaign uh, folder we need to click on create campaign in the right top uh, corner basically we need to input the campaign name let it be the campaign one here we need to input the date let it be the today's date and the type i'm going to use the email send a targeted message to your contacts through email and the text we can find something but basically we can just simply click on save and continue uh, also we need to choose uh, the recipients send it to let it be like for example we can choose the group uh, let it be like engaged uh, for the last 30 days and also we can choose uh, do not send to if we don't want to send our emails to someone uh, and also we can turn on tracking basically is there some like opened uh, emails and so on and also customize tracking parameters i want to do this let's click on continue to content in the right bottom corner and we'll come to page uh, where we need to set up some more things we need to uh, use the subject line let it be like welcome welcome here for example a uh, preview text uh, for example thanks for sub and the sender name let it be like this and the sender email also use this as a reply to address yes so uh, how would you like to design your email we have three options here drag and drop text only and html so the easiest way is to use drag and drop editor pretty easy pretty pretty friendly or we can send a plain text email for a more personal feel or we can use the custom code hmm, like email for complete control so if you are interested in like um, 
creating it by your own you can easily use html but in my case i'm going to use a drag and drop option so we can easily find a lot of templates we can customize as we need there are a lot of different categories but in my case i'm going to use something which is interesting as for me i think this one is pretty cool for example as for our shop so let's click on it uh, now we can see how does it look like and if we'll scroll down we can find the opportunity to use this template i think yeah let's click on a use template and um, basically we'll come to our editor to edit it as you can see in the right side we can find how does our letter looks like and in the left side there is like different contents area where we can add different blocks like text images split uh, header, button, horizontal rule, uh, social links, pacer, table, product, and so on. Also, like different layouts and uh, some universal content we can easily use. To interact with our letter, we can just simply hover and click on any object we want to change. For example, this logo here. We can easily edit, replace, or remove. So, let's, for example, remove this stuff and also going to remove this um, like section here. So, in order to interact with text, we can just simply click. Use it here and for example like welcome to our store something like this so basically the steps are quite simple we can customize our text make it bold italic change the text color change the text area and like uh, and so on and we can interact with every single element here with this like image with this button we can change where um, does it lead to and so on we can change this text and when everything is done, we can just simply click on preview and test or switch between different devices. The uh, letter is totally responsive. So let's click on preview and test. And as you can see, it looks like this. We can also find all the information here. Let's click on done and we'll go to uh, like save and exit option. And now our campaign was successfully created and it looks like this. So we can also like uh, create a B test if it's necessary, but basically I don't want. Let's click on continue to review. And now uh, we can find that all these tabs were like good. We can schedule or send now. We can schedule it for some times or send it now. And uh, if we'll schedule it, for example, we can easily use date somewhere here and here. The select time has passed in some uh, time zone. So let's try to use maybe uh, the like tomorrow date let's uh, click on schedule and yeah basically everything is done and our campaign was successfully created and now it's ready to go so basically this is a way of how can we interact with campaigns and if we're going to discover their paid plans we can find that they have like three plan free email and email and sms and the price depends on the number of users and as you can see the more the users you have the more you have to pay so this is a way how can we use klaviyo for email marketing hope this video helped you out please like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day goodbye